in this uh, segment you are seeing a cystic area within an enlarged uterus this is the uterus and this is the transfer section of the uterus this is the urinary bladder and uh, what you are seeing in this uh, transfer section of the uterus is a cystic area measuring 44 millimeters this is the cystic area that measures 44 millimeters and there is a small echogenic area hanging with its uh, anterior wall with no shadowing uh, and if we take it as a fetal pole then as per the uh, female LMP which is 10 January uh, 2012 her gestational age uh, is 11 weeks 4 days so by looking at this view you can, uh, this is not a pregnancy of uh, 11 weeks at all and uh, because you know at 11 weeks at 7 weeks the uh, the fetal pole shows cardiac activity whereas if this is an 11th week gestational sac then uh, the, the fetal pole that you are seeing is in fact not a fetal pole it's a clot it's a clot and the ecogenic rim around this gestational sac is broken is broken so this trophoblastic reaction is not intact another finding in this uh, image is this black area around the anterior uh, wall of this uh, gestational sac which is the perisac bleed in fact this is the perisac bleed so this is the gestational sac this is the clot this is the broken echogenic ring with the perisac bleed in a pregnant female then this fi these findings are very much consistent with a uh, blightened ovum. Now let's move further and see if there are any if there is any cardiac activity seen uh, in this uh, fetal pole. Now this is the same gest same gestational sac okay that I was seeing this is the clot hanging from the wall of the gestational sac, the residual erection, the trophoblastic erection, and uh, there is no shadowing uh, from this pole, and uh, 44 millimeter was its size, and here you see there is no cardiac activity whatsoever in this. Uh, uh, if it is a fetal pole, then it is without cardiac activity. So this favors uh, again the uh, find uh, the diagnosis of uh, perisac. Uh, sorry, uh, blightenome. Blightenome. In blightenome, what happens is that the gestational sac continues to grow. Fetal pole does not grow and the placenta goes on developing so the gestational sac and the placenta they continue their growth this is now you see in this sec, this is the uh, uterus in longitudinal section measuring 9.6 centimeters in length from here to here and 5.1 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter with a gestational sac longitudinal this is the Ecogenic area, a clot within it that was a developing, uh, you know, fetus stopped growing. But the gestational sac continued to grow and the placental development also started because, you know, at the age uh, of 10 weeks, the placenta starts uh, developing. Before that, the corpus luteum cyst. Uh, maintains the pregnancy. 
So this is a case of uh, blightened ovum. Uh, and I had to uh, preserve these uh, images because uh, the patient started bleeding uh, and I had to do the ultrasound the sooner I could. So the blighting ovum will appear to you, uh, uh, will not correlate with the patient's uh, or the mother's uh, LMP and you will see that the sac will be larger than the uh, than the age of the pregnancy. So this is a typical picture of a blighted ovum with very sac bleed, sac firing, 44 millimeter with a clot hanging from its anterior wall, broken echogenic rim around the sac. 